on now. What, what's your assessment of what Israel is doing in Gaza? I can uh, answer you with uh, two words, a war crime. Uh, my government is now engaged in a massive war crime, killing uh, hundreds of innocents. It's not just a war crime against the Palestinians, it's a crime against the Israeli people. And uh, on behalf of thousands of Israelis that are demonstrating right now in the streets of Tel Aviv, in Jerusalem, and in many other, many other places, with Palestinians, with internationals, people from all kinds of uh, background and all uh, parts of the Israeli society are completely, completely ashamed and against this crazy assault. We know that you cannot kill, as Jewish people, we know that you cannot kill the desire of people to be free. As a Jewish person that was raised on all these values of liberation and, and humanity and freedom, we cannot kill the desire of the Palestinian people to live in freedom. And on behalf of those people in Israel and in the world, I want to call the international community, the Jewish community in the world, and everyone that listens to me now, please join our force to stop this massive killing. Please, for the sake of Israel, for the sake of Palestine, and for the sake of the world, I, I want to cry and to shout and ask you, people are dying right now. The rockets, by the way, can kill also me and my parents when we work in the south, not far from Gaza, but it's crazy that my government, at the same time that people are being killed on the, our side, is continuing this crazy assault, thinking that they can kill the desire of uh, millions of people to be free. But it's the argument, insanity. The, the argument your, your government has, Sibi Livni, was saying that the, it's extremists responsible, a small number granted, but every rocket that's fired out of uh, Gaza into Israel must be stopped, and this is an act of defense. Yeah, and the Palestinians will say the same thing, that this is an act of defense. They are being uh, trapped in this uh, open-air prison for, uh, for decades, and um, they cannot uh, eat, they cannot uh, have uh, medicine, they cannot go in, they cannot go out. Um, we lock them there in a big ghetto, and we have to put the words in a very clear context. We are locking this uh, um, uh, one and a half million people for so long, and we, we treat them as animals, and, uh, and this is the result.